G'day, I'm Al McGlashan for Club Marine TV. Now today, I'm talking about one of my favourites, fishing reels. There's basically two types of reels, overheads and spin. So with overheads, as the name suggests, they go over the top of the rod. So there's two basic types. The drum reel, which is designed for game fishing, high speed spin, and for trolling. It's harder to cast in most cases, and it's designed to carry a lot of line and generally larger in size. So the guys jigging use them, trolling, all those sort of areas, generally for bigger fish. The other side is the complete opposite, which is a low profile reel, still of course, over the top, and they're called bait casters. Now they're designed for casting lures accurately under mangroves, in against structure, smaller in size and profile, all about casting. So next you've got spin reels. Now spin reels, egg beaters, thread lines, it doesn't matter what you call them. The basic thing is they're underneath the rod. Unlike the overheads where you cast the over the top, with a spin reel, it's open the bail arm, put your finger on and you're ready to cast. The beauty of a spin reel is they're exceptionally easy to cast. It's something you can master very quickly. And these are points that are really important to consider when you're buying a reel. What are you fishing for? What style of fishing are you going to do? Are you going to use lure? Are you going to use bait? And where are you going to do it? Now, all reels have a drag system. The drag system is designed so when the fish is pulling line, it's pulling against a predetermined amount of pressure. The more pressure you're on, the quicker you slow it down, but also the greater the chance of the line breaking. So, with spin reels, you get a knob on the front. Alternately, with game reels, you get a lever drag. So there's your drag system there. And with bait casters, it's another one again, it's called a star drag system. Fishing reels have come a long way and we spend a lot of money on them these days. So the most important thing you can do is look after it. Always rinse them down gently at the end of every day. Take them in, get them serviced on a regular basis and that way you'll be catching more fish. <laughs>